smooth. She's still yeah, it has to well, be. It has to be that smooth. Well, the yeah. And if I was going to do pan pencil, I can never get really, really smooth. So, I'm wondering. I've set up. I'm wondering if today we could go back to, you know, just applying that that basic level of wax. That mm -hmm. that'd be one thing. I I, I clean okay. my wax stuff out. It was you know the it was old and. Well, um, the, the thing too, okay, so you have to remember too, Lynn, I'm, I don't, I didn't watch Sherry's, I'm not, I don't have time, maybe this summer, like at night, I can watch, I'll watch everybody's videos, because I'm really curious what everybody else did, I oh, mean, yeah. I just don't have time, like, in May to do that. Yeah, but, right, um, and, you know, I was just curious to start seeing, I won't, I know I won't be able to watch. Well, she, videos. she probably uses an encaustic um, gessoed panel, does she pre-purchase her encaustic gessoed panels, or does she do no. her own? No, she just put on two or three layers and she didn't show it. She just said it's a primed panel. And then she started with a process. Prime, so, primed with wax medium, right? Yeah, like two okay. or three parts. So, so the first it was thing. So smooth. And I thought, you know, I, I have been trying, you know, is it my technique of applying? Is it the heat of the wax? I have my, I have my room up to 80 degrees now. <laughs> Right. And I, I put new wax down, I melted new wax. Um, I'm even wondering, anyway. So let me get the thing and then, and then I tried scraping and, and the scraping, I just, um, it, it just looks like a mess. Yeah, I'll show you what, I'll show you one that, um, well, I didn't scrape it. Anyway. Uh, let me show you. Okay, here, here's something, just to go back a little bit. When we were doing the ginkgo, um, you know, I showed you some, and I, I did some practice panels for that. Uh -huh. And then I realized, I looked at the video that you'd recorded and you had said, oh, I'd like to see you do it, you know, with the um, colored encaustic and then scrape it back. So I thought, okay, right. I'll, I'll do right, that. Right, right. Right, well, so like I'll show you what happened because I tried to get as smooth as I could. Right. And then I started digging. Oh, no, I, I love that. I like it that much. Yeah, I like it. You don't like it? Well, I just wanted to show you, like, I couldn't get, it, it feels pretty smooth, but there's. Um, pretty smooth. So there's little air bubbles. Right. But right. other than and that, that also the scrape marks from the, um, the razor. Okay. And sometimes I like that, you know, like if I want it grungy, it's fine. But like right. if I. Um, I feel like I don't have control over it yet. So are you still using a, are you using a heat gun or a torch? Yeah, I am still using a heat gun. Okay, so I'm that's thinking... part of the problem. Now I'm going to say that's like, that's your problem. I mean, yeah. because, yeah. and so listen, if you, I, um, right. if you want to work inside with a torch, get the little, I mean, maybe it's just totally unsafe. It's up to you. But go, you can go outside, just get yourself a little torching table outside in the shade. Actually, I have one I could use just yeah, for that. Just a, a, it can be anything. It could even be like um, a makeshift table. Like, it, you know, it could be like a couple oh. of milk cartons with a ply, piece of plywood no, on we have that. We have a work table outside, which is, would be fine. Because um, again, with the shellacking thing, I'm not interested in that, but I did watch to see how she changed the, the torch and, um, so she said the kind of torch that she recommends people can't find now. So let me write down if you- I bet it's the one, I bet it's the canister one. Is it's it the a canister, canister one? Yeah, because I actually was Googling the other day for about an hour with another client about torches. So I've never used those, but when I, I mean, I never bought those, but okay. when I was at the Encaustic Castle, I used those because that's the ones that Patricia likes uh -huh. uh, at the Encaustic Castle. So. It's basically cool because it's just the gun part and it just, the gun attaches to the can. I just use the plumber's torch. Oh no, she was using, I think what you call, and I could even look up the name of the torch, but it was, you could control the intensity and it's a, a quarter inch nozzle. Mm -hmm. You can control the intensity and then there's a trigger to start it. That's, that's like your standard plumber's torch. The problem with this plumber's torch is that it's slightly heavy because the plumber's torch tank is heavy. It's made out of metal. Whereas mm -hmm. the ones that Lorraine had, I mean, uh, the ones that Patricia had, like the tank was literally as big as this jar. 
It was more oh, like a soda can. It was very, very, it was more petite. It was like six inches tall. So the one I have either. is very tall and awkward because yeah. you have to flip the tank under your arm and it's sort of hard to Big get it at an, an angle oh. because it takes a little bit of an elbow leverage. You can try a creme brulee torch. Oh, okay. And you can also try the acrylic resin torches. Because what happens with the, the acrylic resin is, is photographers and artists like to use it and furniture makers as a surface. So if they have like, if they do like a, a burn wood etching or they have a photo and they want to be able to put like cups on it or use yeah. it as a countertop or a coffee table or they just, they buy that epoxy resin. And what happens with the resin is it goes on like like a jelly and then if you want to move it, you have to heat it to move it. Well, now can you control the intensity of the- With the creme brulee torch, it's small. You can probably, it's just a very small torch. You probably can't control the temperature, but you can control the distance of the torch to the panel, which would be the equivalent of controlling the temperature. And it's a very small, it's like a very small torch. It's like, you know, it's- Right, right. The only thing that I'm I did- the, yeah. I, the only thing that I did not like about the creme brulee torch is that I had to keep my first oh. finger engaged on uh, mm -hmm. the button to keep the keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah. So that was well, awkward was because I, my hands are sore from photography. So like just holding my finger tight yeah, like that, yeah. just I mean I have to use my hands for camp photography. Okay. So my hands, my fingers are all like arthritic, but uh, that could be yeah. an option you know well let me let me look into them maybe if i can write you and say what do you think about x you know um, yeah we can email back and forth about the torches because i have been researching it i do know that dick blick sells a torch um that i'm interested in trying um i still use my plumber's torches of course but i should ask and you know where else to look sometimes you know i always talk to duncan about stuff because you yeah. know in the movie business, they, you know, they, they, the scenics make all kinds of stuff, but check out um, supply stores like Harbor Sales, which is more of an industrial supply store. What's it called? Harvard? Yeah. Like Harbor Sales or even like Home Depot, you know, oh, okay. because sometimes when you're just looking in like the art supply stores, they kind yeah. of have like a limited selection. Okay. But it would be a, pl a plumber's torch. Okay. Yeah, or a, or an, or a resin or an epoxy resin torch. Right, so it could be under the category of food, resin, art, plumbing. Okay. Just to uh, kind of expand your searches of what's available. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I just had to bite the bullet and, and I, you know, it's, I'm a little scared of it, but um, I just feel it's so frustrating because I... Well, the, the, there's so many problems for me with the heat gun. One is the, sort of, I don't know the temperature. So I like, I feel like the, 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 the torch is consistent. I feel like the heat gun, like if, if it's first turning on, it's not that hot and then you have to wait and then it gets like too hot. And then it's like, you can't. And then I don't like the fan. The fan for me is a huge hmm. problem because I don't want it to be blowing the wax. If it's blowing right. the wax, it's, so then I'm always like trying to stay perfectly perpendicular uh, yeah. to the surface so that it's not blowing at an angle right, right. if there's any air circulation there i also feel like that air that's in the fan okay. of the heat gun is what sort of semi creates okay. those bubbles okay right let me, let, let me do a little bit on this i i just did one wait hold on a second um let me do a little bit on on my um i love your sculpture I can just sit here and stare oh, that's my, my cousin's a sculptor. I uh, love that. The horse in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah, she has a horse farm and she breeds horses and rides. Where's her horse farm? In New Mexico. Oh, can we move there? I know. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm I know. so sick of Philadelphia. I, I, just, I, I was thinking it'd be so much fun to get the two of you together. Oh my I, God, can we do a workshop there? I want to go. I was thinking, yeah, I've been thinking about that. I haven't seen her. You know, the pandemic held every, a lot of stuff up, but it's it's in my mind. Oh my Is God, that, I'm totally yeah. going to meet you there. You'll, that's how you're going to get me out there. If you want to work with me, I'll, call, I'll just come there just to be with you. In the okay. <laughs> She's, I, and she, you would love the horse. 
her husband's a horse whisperer. Oh my God, I want to come. I'm already there. Okay, I'm okay. I'll Next talk year. To her. Okay, we're going. I'm going to talk to her. Um, Please, I want to go. I was thinking about, um, I, I, I really want to go out to see her because I haven't seen her for a while. And um, yeah, I was thinking about bringing this up about having yeah, you come out. Just me. Don't, I don't care about anybody else, just me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just private. So, just private. This thing. Yeah. It, now, wait, I'm going to hold this up so you can see. I don't know how to do this. She doesn't need to host extra people. Point it down to the table, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Don't try to hold it up. I, I, I don't think that's... Yeah, not what I'm waxing. Because I, I just want... I, I think you're right. Part of it's the... Um, what do you call it? The... I think you'll be so much happier if you get the torch. I also think like if you use the heat gun for the majority of it and then hit it at the end with the torch, you'll just be able to get rid of all the little laps. I'm trying to find a way to. Oh, that looks great. That's like your. Can you see enough of it? Like when I'm. Whoa. Is that okay? Like that? No, I need to see my. Ah. Get down there. Okay, can you see enough? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. So I've got, um, the other thing is I'm going to, the hockey brushes, I don't know if they're old. This, one of them has like a blue stripe and I think it's contaminating. But so. They, you know what happens to them too? They get bendy. Huh? They get bendy. They like bend. They, I don't yeah. Well, and the brushes. So this, I'm, um, it's been in there now for a while. I'm going to take it. I'm just going to go at the top. And look at that. I didn't have, it hardly took anything. So maybe I have to okay, do so, so yeah. um, okay. So I'm, I'm curious about a couple of things. Okay. Are you, let me, um, I wish I could see your pot. Are you tapping oh, the brush yeah, out on the side? Hang on. Tell me when you see it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. So you, have, so you have, you don't have that much wax in there. I mean, let's just use what you have now. And are you sure it's oh, put enough? more in? Okay. Cause I just filled that up with the- um, Don't put more in now because you won't be able to wax. Yeah. But so, I, I just, you know, I cleaned it. Um, okay. So. So also like your panel's like at least 14 inches, right? Yeah. It's, uh, so, so don't, I, I are you, are, the goal is to make a perfectly smooth surface, right? Well, just so I can, I know I can do it mostly about across her face. Usually what I've done in the past is really focus on the face. Well, let's forget about face. all the vertical. What I would do. Yeah. Am I breaking up? Well, I'm just broke. What I, okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can. What I would do is I would forget about vertical lines or horizontal lines. Okay. I would think about the mat the flow of the wax and only the flow of the wax so change your focus okay from covering, okay. covering the panel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to just getting like a nice full equal stroke so you have to kind of like be like the wax whisperer <laughs> brushing and then as soon as it starts to want to slow down or stop, think about lifting up. Okay. Well, here's the other thing. I, you know, the brush is in, in here, so it's pretty saturated. Right, but don't go, Do I, don't, don't go further than you have to, like brush. I'm wondering, should I let the, some of the wax, um, should, I, um, should, I, should I brush some of the wax on the wax pan? I no, no, I, I would just, just maybe tap it a little bit so it's not drippy. Okay. Okay. And then go as far as you can. And as soon as it starts to break up, just stop. And I don't care what direction you're going. Just be natural. Okay, I just did it at the end. Okay. And don't oh. put weight on it. You're you're putting weight on it. Ah, uh, you see, this is why I wanted to use it. You know, I wanted it's to see better, it. but don't don't put any muscle like don't put any weight your, your body weight on the brush let the wax be the butter like the the in between let it flow and lift your elbow at the end okay okay that's better, better. 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 just try to 
So I don't care, like you could go just right over her face, along her arm, just. Yeah, I could, okay, I could, I could, I'm gonna do it with a smaller brush then. So think about like more, just like smaller segments, but more equal flow and like more continuous so that you don't have any breakups in the brush strokes. That, that one that felt like a good one. There's still like some air bubbles, it felt good. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that brush looks better. That other brush is, doesn't look good. Yeah, I just bought I just cool. bought a new brush because that I, this one I don't like. Okay, whoops, I didn't do that right. Hang on. Okay. So don't put any weight on it. Let the wax because when you're putting weight on it, it's like you're pushing uh -huh. it down. It doesn't want to go down. It wants to go across. Okay. Yep, better. Okay. Yeah, it feels better already. And, and yeah. Okay. I don't want to touch it yet, but it feels like it looks like it's smoother. And also you need to get the pace right. I feel like you're trying to make it go faster than it wants to go. Okay. Okay. Uh, why don't I do over this thing? That was too, was fast. too fast. Well, right. Because think about what happens if you rush it. If you rush it, it gets like stressed out, right? So there are air bubbles. <laughs> so you're going too fast. So slow it down a little bit. Don't be afraid. I think you're afraid to slow it down because you feel like it's gonna cool, but yeah. oh well, yeah. then start again. There are a lot of bubbles. Mm. A lot of bubbles. Mm. Let's see, but I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna try different areas to just get the strokes right. <laughs> okay, and they can overlap however you feel comfortable. Yep, I didn't pick it up oh, fast. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I'll be right back. Hold on. My cat wants to come up here. Hang on. I'm just, okay, I'm practicing. <laughs> okay, hang on. I see you. Come here. Don't run away then. All right. Nice. Slow down. Slow down. Slow I down. Slow down. I have a gate down there so the dogs stay down there, but now the cows. Okay. I think that looks good. And you know, yeah, just think about weaving it together. This last one just fine. I'm fine. this last one just yeah, but so yeah, it's just practicing, isn't it? Keep yeah, but so yeah, it's just practicing, isn't it? Keep it slow, don't work. Well, I think you've got to let go of those rigid ideas about having to go like up vertically or horizontally. You know oh, what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. All right. All right. So, so. So I did one just before this, before you you came on, um, but I purposely wanted to not have it smooth. I wanted to have the brush strokes. So I'll show you that. Yeah. But um, I haven't scraped it yet. Right. So remember, it's paint, fuse, scrape, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So. Um, I almost have this. So while this is, um, it looks like you have a spot in the lower left corner, closer to me, and right under her hand. Right yeah. under her hand. At the bottom, yeah, down there at the bottom. Looks like. Down here, yeah, right there. It looks like there's a spot. Oh, there's a spot here. Yeah, I see. Oh, there's a spot here. You can see. It. See, now I kind of, for this piece, I really kind of even like the wax overlapping like that. Oh, I like oh, it. Okay. Oh, cool. Well, it's all a lot of I mean, is, these are questions. A lot of this is. A lot of it's going to be covered by the. A lot um, of it's going to be covered um, by the. Um, yeah. and so, so. Okay. I think. I see, I see little. I see little places like where I, I had. I glued this I glued down. This down. Okay. I mean, I just I mean, felt. I just felt I felt so discouraged because I thought, you know, 
I have to go back to the basics because I'm not getting what I want. There is a whole well, again. Okay. I, I showed the model who I took a picture of, and you know, I said she I usually said, doesn't like doesn't flowery like things, flowery and she's things. like, I love this. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's good. So I don't know what I had to restart my computer today. This Zoom's gonna kick me off, but I, when it ends in 10 minutes, I'll just call you back. Okay. I don't know what time. Okay, okay so basically it's covered now. Some of it's okay, covered. good. Okay, so yeah. I love it. Pretty okay. clear. Arm is clear. So I see a couple like cracky spots where it looks like brush yeah. strokes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I would yeah. just go over them again. Where you see brush strokes, just go over them again another direction or just, yeah, just have fun with it. Put just see up at the top. top. Like, okay, we'll just go over it again and still consider okay. it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I should have more wax in there. Yeah, but you just, you don't have to go, you know, heavy handed. Just Gently. Gentle is good. Mm, that broke up. Hmm. Let's see if we can get this. So there's an area here, like <clears throat> this is where I cut out something and it kind of gets caught. Mm -hmm. So what I've been doing is just pushing in with a brush, mm -hmm. you know, um, and then scraping, but. Or add more wax and fill, like add more wax so that becomes like a smoother. There you go. Yeah, I would just add more wax over it. This, it, this bag of wax I had, the little pellets were basically melted together. So I had to, uh -huh. it's kind of hard to. You can keep uh, it in the refrigerator. Like it arrived that way, you know, because it, it's so hot here sometimes. Right. I think it just melted like coming up from Phoenix or something. I don't know. Yeah, you can, you can, oh my God, it's not even summertime yet. Okay. It's still only spring there. I, well, it's spring here. We have cool nights and, and I, I actually turn the temperature up out here just, you know, so it's better for waxing. Well, now I've really locked it on. Good, okay, great, good. I mean, okay. so, right. yeah, so the more the merrier. I think again, like, you know, a lot of people, they get nervous about putting too much on. I think, you know, you really didn't have enough. I, so it was like, you know what I mean? So don't, Okay. reduction right. is either easier than addition, right? Well, and also I use the, you know, when I scrape, I just, you know, put it into a mud pot. So it Great. doesn't get yeah. wasted. No, I don't waste the drop either. I don't waste it. I know. <laughs> Unless it gets really dirty or it's like cat or dog hair in it. That's well, the, the dog, yeah, the hair is sometimes like, I'm seeing little places. Okay. So while this is, I want to show you what I did with an, another piece that I was working on before the Zoom call. Right. So after you, right. And then after you get that all brushed, you can um, let it cool for a minute and then you can fuse it and then you can scrape it because it's really very warm right now. So going right to fusing, you know, might be a little aggressive. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show you this other one. Um, oh, yeah. So. All right, so this is the practice piece for the other one. You know, and I just used a Xerox picture, you know, of oh, really? my trees, and then I have so there's some things I like about it, and some things like that. But I today, this morning, I started, apply, I did a, a coat of clear wax, and then I just put the, um, the, uh, that looks beautiful. I love it. <laughs> The colored wax on. I haven't scraped it yet, but um, I wanted the brush strokes because I wanted it to be the waves and the wind. Oh, I love that. 
Pam, I love, I really love it. I, I like it. I, I, I really um, love it. And it's really, this one, I don't care if it's not smooth. I want the brush strokes, so I might as well use it. Um, but the idea will be that I have that and then I will do the stencil stars. Yeah, I love it. And I incise the, um, I don't know. It was too hard to try to get the whole, the whole idea was um, have a astrology thing behind, but it was too yeah. complicated. I just thought, I'll just incise some lines. And, you know. So that's, that's this one that I'm working on. And I, and, like, and I haven't fused this one yet. I love it. I love that color. It's absolutely beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I like the yellow tone and the photo and the blue. It's beautiful. Oh, yeah, I was working on this. I'm using this, um, what do you call it? This? How do you pronounce it? T-H-T-A-L-O. Fallow. Fallow. Yeah. yeah. So beautiful. Okay, so now we, now we come to the fusing. So... I absolutely love them. They're beautiful. I definitely like the second one. So I'm curious what happens. I like the blue. I like the second one. The second one? Yeah, I did too. I did. Yeah. The first yeah. blue was yeah. too, I wanted it to be really dark when I see. Okay, let's get this. Okay. It's delicious blue. It's just gorgeous. Delicious blue. Okay. Delicious now, can you blue. see, can you see my, yeah. Yeah, okay. Because I noticed on the video, most of the time you were looking at my, my age spots on my chest. And I <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> oh. No, only a key, uh, just your, mostly your face. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so. I'm gonna um, have those two. Sometimes it takes a long sometimes time from this far time. away. But, uh, so try to fuse steady. Is it? Is it? Steady, like in a line, like follow um, a line. Don't when you're fusing, yeah, don't go in a circle because what you're doing in a circle is you're fanning it away from itself. So, okay, just so I just go, go like um, okay. I, I go to like a typewriter, things like a typewriter. Okay. Or a printer. Right. Okay. Or, or eating right. corn. <laughs> yeah, eating corn, like zigzag. Yeah, or like yep, down the, across and back. I don't know how you do these, those huge pieces. With a torch. I would never use a heat gun. I use a torch. You do what? Now, should I just torch. stop here and just um, scrape just this one section and then fuse the next section so it's a little more or do I do the whole thing? Yeah. Or do I do the whole thing? Um, I, I would just you can do that part and then work on another part. Okay. So I, can on. you hear me? Yeah. So, well, you are breaking up. I don't know right. what's you, you usually we have a really good reception. I know you can see myself. Have a really good reception. I can see myself. I can see myself breaking up, but you know what? Let's take this minute. I'm gonna end this Zoom call and call you right back. Okay, and I'll start. I'll start yeah. doing a little bit of scraping. Okay. Yeah, start, that's fine. I'll start doing a little bit of. Scraping. Yeah, I'm gonna call you on the second. I'm gonna call you on the second. It's it's almost. It's only ten after four, so we got twenty minutes. So let me.